Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I'm Peng Fei He uh, from a uh, PhD uh, uh, doctor from uh, La Hea University of Uh Today I will give a presentation about uh, my uh, about our work during my PhD life. Uh, work with uh, Professor Jing Hao Hao. Um, so let's really start. Uh, here is the definition of a uh, capacity the vehicle routing problem. Uh, I think everyone knows the exact definition of this uh, problem. And uh, it is a computational challenge. And uh, until now, there are many, many state-of-the-art state algorithms to solve this problem. Uh, for example, uh, exact methods were proposed to solve small, small and medium-sized instances. And uh, for a large size, for a large size instance, uh, heuristics and uh, meta heuristics uh, are the uh, first choice to get some good results within acceptable running time. Uh, if we have some uh, different constraints, uh, we can uh, we can we, uh, we can get some new varieties. Uh, uh, based on the uh, capacity of the vehicle routing problem, uh, such as uh, VIP with time window, multi depots, and uh, split delivery vehicle routing problem. Uh, however, if another uh, problem is combined together with, uh, say, VIP, uh, we can also have many, many varieties, such as uh, location routing to echelon VIP and uh, production routing problem. Um, until now, Lots of meta heuristic framework, uh, frameworks were proposed to solve uh, CVIP and uh, its varieties. Uh, uh, first class is uh, the neighborhood based uh, framework, like uh, a table search, iterated local search. And uh, there is, uh, is another class of framework. It is a best, uh, it, it is a population based uh, framework. Uh, the most uh, uh, the most famous uh, algorithm is a hybrid genetic algorithm. Uh, so in my presentation, we will focus on this this method. Uh, the most uh, representative hybrid genetic algorithm were proposed by Professor Pons in two thousand four, uh, because. Uh, this algorithm uh, can, can achieve uh, competitive results uh, based on a population-based algorithm. Uh, in this algorithm, uh, gen, uh, each VIP solution is represented by a giant tool uh, without depots, without uh, delimiters. Uh, so uh, we, can consider, we can consider each VIP solution as a, as a TSP. It's, uh, is same with the TSP, and uh, then uh, some uh, some uh, crossover used in TSP can be applied to produce new giant tools, uh, like uh, all best crossover uh, used in TSP. Uh, if if we if we have some new giant tools, uh, a, a very efficient polynomial split algorithm can be used to to split new giant tools uh, to get some new, of, uh, new offspring solutions. Uh, so uh, our representative work uh, uh, was proposed by, by Tibo, and uh, it is a very, uh, very, very, very efficient uh, algorithm to solve uh, CVIP and uh, its varieties. Uh, in this algorithm, uh, each VIP solution is also represented by a giant tool. And then uh, some difference, uh, there are some different things. Uh, in this algorithm, uh, two populations are used uh, to manage all, all offspring solutions. Uh, we need to know in the first population, uh, it includes all feasible solutions, but uh, all infeasible solutions we use the, uh, are kept in the other population. So in this algorithm, uh, we, uh, we can explore some infeasible areas. Uh, furthermore, uh, advanced population management uh, is used to, to, 
uh, to manage each individual in populations. Uh, then uh, there are some representative crossover to solve the CVIP and uh, its and uh, its varieties. The first one is a natural crossover. Look at uh, these, these these two solutions, parent A and parent B. In the parent A, we can use a uh, rectangular to copy some edges. We can easily find uh, these three edges are copied into uh, intermediate of spin solution. Here, three edges. And uh, in the final step, uh, in the next step, uh, we try to uh, we try to construct a variable solution based on this structure. Uh, the next uh, famous crossover is, uh, is based on root first and class second. Um, it has been used uh, by uh, by previous uh, two uh, two hybrid genetic algorithms. Um, in the first, uh, each VIP solution is uh, represented a giant two, and then the classical outbest crossover is used is used to produce. Uh, uh, to produce new giant tools. And uh, uh, the final step is to split each new giant tool into uh, some, uh, into, uh, to, to get some feasible offspring solutions. Uh, in a, in, in a section two, uh, we will introduce uh, uh, another very efficient crossover operator. Uh, it, it is an edge assembly crossover operator for uh, CVRP. It was proposed by uh, Nagota in 2009 uh, uh, when solving the CVRP. Uh, uh, there, are three, uh, there are three properties. The first one is that when we use this crossover to produce offspring solutions, uh, the capacity constraint is temporarily lifted. And uh, then, uh, in the, in the final offspring solution, we can find uh, most, of the, uh, most of the edges used in offspring solution uh, come from their parent solutions. This, uh, this is the uh, most important property when we use uh, this crossover to solve some of CVIP. And uh, the last, uh, last is uh, the, uh, these graphs should be undirected. And uh, in the EX, the step one, is to, pro is to build uh, the joint graph based on two parent solutions. Mm. This process, uh, this procedure is very simple. Uh, look at uh, uh, solution 5A and 5B. Uh, common edges uh, used, used in both solutions are removed directly. For example, uh, these three edges, uh, they are used in both solutions. And, 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 and non-common edges, such as this one, it is only used in the 5A. It will be kept in the joint, gra joint graph GAB. Uh, in mathematical, uh, GAB, uh, all, all edges, which equal to uh, absolute value of uh, EA and EB, uh, symmetric difference of EA and EB. Um, in this joint graph, we can easily find the degree of each vertex uh, is, is an even number. Uh, this, uh, the degree of this vertex is uh, 2, and uh, it's also 2, and it's 4. And we can also find that uh, half edges, uh, half edges uh, come from solution 5A, and uh, the other half edges come from solution 5B. Um, this property uh, can guarantee that all edges in GAB can be partitioned into several AB cycles completely. Um, for example, for uh, AB cycle one, uh, the process uh, how to how to build it. Uh, firstly, a uh, random vertex such as this one, uh, it is selected and. Uh, Edges from parent, from 5A and 5B are linked alternatively. For example, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. So we have a we have a cycle. Um, all all 
edges in this joint graph will be partitioned into several AB cycles finally. Uh, this property is very important uh, to build, uh, to, to generate uh, these AB cycles. And uh, in the next step, we try to generate some E sets. It is uh, uh, for each E set, it is uh, more, more large AB cycles. And uh, in the next step, we try to, we try to generate some intermediate solutions based on uh, based on E sets and a uh, 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 parent solution, such as uh, phi A. Um, so given a number of E sets, uh, A, B, C, D, we can, have a same, we can have a same number of intermediate solutions. Uh, given the E set A and the solution phi A, uh, all black edges are also used in solution phi A. Uh, the, the principle of step four uh, is also very simple. Uh, these black edges will be removed directly. And uh, now uh, it, it is a common edge between uh, EA and uh, solution phi A. So it will be removed. And uh, non-common edges, such as reader, it comes from solution phi B. It will be kept into the, uh, the A prime. So we can, have a, uh, we can have a number of intermediate solutions. Um, so in the next step, we try to eliminate some isolated sub-tools. Sub uh, look at the solution A prime and B prime. Uh, it is obviously infeasible because here is a sub-tool and a sub-tool. So, uh, in the, in the step five, we try to eliminate these sub-tools by using a two output star operator. Uh, for example, in this solution, uh, these, these two black edges are removed and uh, two blue edges are added. Um, here are some, uh, some advantages uh, when we when we when we using when we use uh, EAX to solve the CVRP, the, uh, the first one is that the backbone information from parent solutions will be used by offspring solutions as much as possible. Uh, in the parent solutions, we can find some common edges will be uh, will be used by their offspring solution. For example, these three edges, uh, they will be used in, in, f in four offspring solutions. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, this property can, uh, can promise that uh, um, the, the uh, structure of the parent solution will be used by the offspring solutions. So it can also set it, uh, so uh, it, 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 will, it will inherit backbone information into the offspring solution. And uh, the second one is that some diversification will be preserved by the offspring solutions. Uh, also look at uh, these offspring solutions. Uh, we can find that the half uh, uh, these edges, they are, comp uh, they are completely from uh, solution phi A. And uh, these edges, uh, they, are come from, uh, they are come from the parent uh, uh, phi B. So, so it, uh, it can guarantee some diversification to when, uh, when producing offspring solution. And furthermore, uh, this crossover can focus on some active areas to, assem to, to assembly some, uh, some edges used in parent uh, solution phi A and phi B. And uh, look at the figure one. Uh, here, are, uh, here, here are two instances from the split derivative equal routine problem. Uh, we can easily find if the uh, if the uh, 
solution, the quality becomes better, and uh, common edges and, and uh, common edges become more. Uh, such as this, yeah, so on. So this backbone information will be used by the offspring solution. Uh, this property uh, can also uh, can also promise that uh, our offspring solution will be promising. Uh, but there are some disadvantages. Uh, remember that in the CVRP, each customer should be weighted exactly once for uh, all feasible solutions. Uh, so uh, given this joint graph, uh, the degree of each vortex is an even number. However, uh, in, in some routine problems, this property cannot be satisfied such as a team orienting problem and a split delivery vehicle routing problem. So uh, how can we do if, we, if I still want to use this crossover to produce uh, offspring solutions? Uh, it's our main work. The most easy way is to add some dummy loops to, uh, to, to some solutions. In, uh, in this process, we define a degree difference of vertex i in two parent solutions, that i, which equals the absolute value of ai minus degree bi. Look at uh, this figure, these two solutions. Uh, the vertex i uh, its degree is 6, and uh, in the solution 5b, its degree is 4. Uh, so uh, that i in both solutions is 2. Uh, the most easy way is to add a dummy loop ii to make the data i equal to zero. So this, pro uh, so this problem is, is solved. And the uh, best our uh, general edge assembly crossover, we use a hypergenetic algorithm uh, to solve four routine problems. Uh, the minimax MTSP with single and multiple depots, uh, split delivery VIP, and uh, uh, TSP is very profit where two problems were solved. And the final is the Hamiltonian P media problem. Here is the framework of our HGA. Um, some components uh, can be removed, indeed, uh, such as the mutation. Uh, for the uh, Minmax MTSP, there are two variants: the single depot and the multi depots. However, when we use the GEX to produce uh, the offspring uh, to produce offspring solutions, uh, we meet some problems. For the uh, for the uh, multi depots, we can easily find uh, this one is uh, obviously infeasible. Because in this, in this intermediate solution, we have a giant tool where two depots are visited by a single, single route. So uh, the two opt star operator is used again to partition such giant tool. And uh, here is our experimental results. Uh, Five reference algorithm for the uh, single depots, uh, single depot, and uh, two reference algorithm for the uh, multi depots. And uh, our algorithm can update uh, a number of uh, new, uh, a number of best known results. Uh, for the split delivery vehicle routine problem, uh, the definition of this problem is the same with the CVRP, except one constraint is that customers can be served by more than one vehicle. Uh, look at this example. Two read, uh, two read customers are, are visited by two vehicles. Uh, furthermore, if, if the number of vehicles is limited to minimum possible k minor, we call this problem is SDVIP with limited fleet Otherwise, it is uh, SDVIP with unlimited fleet. Mm, here is uh, our experimental results, and the nine reference algorithms uh, uh, were used to evaluate the performance of our, of our HGA. 
And uh, this problem was also addressed in the Denmark's implementation challenge last year. And uh, our algorithm won the second place. Uh, here is the uh, experimental results. Uh, we can find that uh, our algorithm outperforms the best known results. Uh, for the TSP profits, uh, where two problems are solved, uh, for, uh, orientation problem and a price collecting problem, a price collecting TSP. Uh, for the OP, uh, it is the same with the uh, uh, some, some, some with the team orientation problem, but uh, there is only one vehicle used. Uh, for the PC TSP, uh, it aims to minimize the traveling costs while, uh, while, while uh, 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 minimum profits threshold should be, should be ensured. And uh, here, is, here are some uh, Higher com computational results of our algorithm when solving the OP. Uh, and uh, we can update uh, 67 new low bundles. For a uh, TSP, with prof uh, for a uh, price uh, PC TSP, we can also update uh, 120 new up bundles. Uh, the final problem is the Hamiltonian P media problem. Uh, given, uh, given a P, and uh, we try to we try to find find a p non intersecting Hamiltonian cycles, and the objective of this problem is to minimize the traveling co traveling cost of the, of the p cycles. And uh, uh, table four is a summary of uh, uh, a summary of our results. And the uh, last section is the conclusion and uh, perspectives. In our work, four routers are solved, and uh, the, the edge assembly crossover operator is uh, generalized toward rich routing problems. And, uh, uh, and our HGA can also update some new record, uh, new record break, breaking results. Uh, here, uh, here is our current work and uh, some perspectives. Indeed, um, we try to use the GEX and uh, HGA to solve some, some, more, uh, some more routing problems, such as uh, location routing and uh, two-echelon vehicle routing. And uh, then, until now, uh, this crossover is only used to solve some node routing problems. It can also be Use to solve, to solve some arc routing problems. Lastly, uh, we try to we try to develop a unified and open source uh, crossover uh, to solve some problems defined on directed, undirected, and windy graphs. Uh, so here is my presentation. It's uh, we use uh, the same one from the vital paper. Uh, and uh, we also use the binary tournament selection okay. uh, to select uh, a parent solutions. It is a commonly used uh, method <coughs> to select parent solutions uh, used in HGA. Uh, anti graph. Uh, I can take an example. <laughs> uh, for this, for this graph, uh, there is a there is an edge between two customers, and uh, there is a forward and a backward is in in particle. However, uh. If, 
if the length of forward and the backward uh, not equal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have one quick question. Uh, okay. So there's been uh, been a discussion so far in the workshop about you know open sourcing a lot of uh, a lot of these tools, and uh, I mean it seems like a pretty powerful operator. You said you're working on open sourcing a version of this. Uh, yeah, until now we have open source code uh, for some papers, which uh, is indeed we will open source this. Yeah, indeed, we, we will open source this one and uh, this one. Uh, but finally, uh, we, we will open source all our codes online. Yeah, an interesting addition to some of the libraries we've been hearing about so far. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? If not, let's thank, thank Bay one more time.